Today I want to talk about chemicals, uh, namely herbicides, and what you can do to improve your deer habitat using chemicals. This is a food plot that is that I struggle with. There's a lot of deer around here, and it's very small, so they pretty much ate everything. You can see how the food plot should look is like this, and uh, it had a little exclusion cage right here. So. This is what ought to be here. And you can see how just in one night since the cave blew over, deer are already on it. Uh, these halfway off. So I sprayed this with 2,4-DB uh, and clethodin mixture all at the same time. And that mixture should kill your grasses and broadleaves and leave your clover alone. There's a little bit of clover growing in here, so I didn't really want to kill that. And then I'll replant it with a summer cover crop and probably fence it until it gets established. Once it has a good root system, it's more resilient to browse pressure. And then in the fall, I'll probably put an overwintering food plot in, fence it again. And then in hunting season, you know, first week of October, I'll, I'll take the fence down and I'll be able to hunt. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go up through here where we regenerated some forest and start adjusting what's growing in there by using garlon uh, mixed with a basil oil. We're going to basil treat some trees, in which case, uh, in this case, it's going to be birch. So I have birch in there about this big, which is a good size for basil treatment. Uh, you can either cut them off and spray the stump, or if you don't want a bunch of trash laying around, you don't want this, all that down timber, just spray the, the basal bark, which is about 15 inches, all the way around, and you'll kill that tree. Uh, you can also do a hack and squirt job, where you, you take the same chemicals. Uh, Garlon works well. Uh, you can even use glyphosate. If you just thin it down just enough so it'll go through your squirt bottle, and you can a little glyphosate in there. Uh, you want to use it as full strength as you can if you're going to use that. Uh, that will be taken into the, to the cambium and circulate through the tree and kill it. And then what I'm going to do after that is take a chainsaw and cut off the red maples. Red maples will re-sprout and deer really like the uh, sprouted stumps and they like to eat the leaves and the buds in the wintertime. Uh, so a red maple is something you really don't want to kill, but you also don't want it taking over the overstory because it's not providing any kind of deer. We do have cherry that regenerated. We have aspen. Um, I planted some uh, American chestnut in there. And there's oaks that came in from seed. So we want to try to preserve those and release them. They're all really small, maybe 8, 10 feet tall, while the birch is 30 feet. So we want to get rid of that birch so it doesn't shade out and kill everything else. All right, I'll get started here and uh, I'll take some clips and feed those into this video here and there so that you can see how it goes. So when you're basal spraying, um, you, use, you want to use an ultra low volume wand. These cost a lot of money, but what you pay for them pays for itself very quickly in the amount of unwasted herbicide. It has a good shutoff valve that's located in the tip. It has an adjustable tip so you can adjust your spray and you only spray the tree and you're not spraying a bunch of ground around the tree. So first thing you got to do is identify your tree. Uh, these are birches. Um, a lot of times in the winter when they're young you might mistake it for a cherry, but it's easy this time of year because they got leaves. So you have a doubly serrate leaf. And if you're really confused, give it a scratch and take a sniff of that bark and you'll smell that birch smell. If it smells a little acrid, it's a cherry. So what you want to do is go all the way around, spray 15 inches of the base of the park with 25% garlon and basil oil. You can either use a, a special basil oil that they sell or you could just mix it with diesel fuel. Works just as well. 
20-25% is plenty. So we can go up through here. This one's a little on the big side. This might be uh, a better tree for hack and squirt application, but you can do it this way too. We just paint that tree all the way around like that. And that's going to be a dead tree. Okay, hack and squirt is better on a larger tree because on this tree it's about five inches in diameter. The bottom of it is more like seven inches and you'd have to go all the way around and put quite a bit of material on there. So I take a really good hatchet, it's very sharp. I just put a tune on it with a flat file, take a mill file and uh, get that good and sharp because you don't want to crush the cambium fibers, you want to cut them so that the juice will go in there. And I just have some cheap hardware store sprayer and I put 25% Garlon, 75% oil in there and some dye. Um, I like to use triclopyr even better because you can mix that with water and it travels through the, the roots and the system a little bit better. And you can kill any size tree with this method. You just have to put a cut every two inches, every two, every two inches around the tree, or some say for every inch in diameter, every two inches in diameter put a cut. So now on a tree like this, I'm gonna put a slice. And if you watch that, some of it spills, but a lot of it gets sucked right into the plant. And no matter what size it is, I like to put a cut on all four faces of the tree. If you have two guys, you can have one guy just doing the cutting and another guy doing the spraying. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And, uh, you know, take a Take some of your favorite tunes with you and just go out through the woods and you can kill all the birch you want or the red maple, whatever it is you want to get rid of. Okay, so it only took me a few minutes to do about a quarter of an acre here with the hack and squirt. Uh, so I'll continue hack and squirt on the big ones and basal treatment on the little ones and... You know, I plan on doing about five acres today by myself. And if you had a crew of guys, you had three or four or five guys, you can really get a lot done in a day. Better yet, a work weekend. Okay, and then once I do that, I'm going to work on the uh, red maple a little bit. Oh, one more thing. Uh, if you're going to do a lot of this, uh, these leak and they wear out really fast. Uh, Arbor Chem makes a really good one. It costs $100 maybe a little more but it's worth it it's got a an air pump in it and it's very nicely sealed and it'll hold I think a quart of material so you can go for hours on one fill up and it's a really good quality thing I'll put a link down to it uh, if I can down below be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video and comment down below, let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.